Hi. Now, in the previous part, we were told that by solving this differential equation here, show that theta equaled a to the power minus 0.008t plus 3, where a is a constant. And we're now given that the temperature of the water in the bottle when it was put in the refrigerator was 16 degrees C. And we've got to find the time taken for the temperature of the water in the bottle to fall to 10 degrees C, giving our answer to the nearest minute. So, as usual, if you haven't done this already and want to give it a go, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can either fast forward to the end to get the answer, or you can see my working. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got then is we're told that theta equals the constant A multiplied by E to the power minus 0.008 times T and then plus 3. And what we're given is that initially when T equals 0, okay, the temperature of the bottle was 16 degrees C. So we can say that when t equals 0, the temperature given by theta was equal to 16. And if we substitute this into our equation here, we've got 16 equals the constant A multiplied by e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is going to be 1, so we've just got A, and then we've got plus 3. So clearly from this, if we take 3 from both sides, a is equal to 13. So what we've got then is therefore theta equals 13 here, e to the power minus 0.008t, and then plus 3. Now, once we've got this, we just move on to try and answer this last part here. But what I'm going to do is just sketch the graph. I think this is quite useful just to do this. I, I quite often do this for questions like this. We've got our time t here and we've got our temperature theta here. And we've got a negative exponential graph. And it's going to look something like this. Starting at 16 here when t equals 0 and it's going to decay like this and it's going to start to approach 3 as t gets bigger. Let's just mark in that line. It's, it's what we call an asymptote, okay? There, okay? That is tending towards the temperature 3 degrees C. Now, we can see that this is 16 here and we're looking at the time when it's reduced down to 10 degrees C. So if we put 10 there, what's happening is we're going across here and then down here and it's this value of T, which I'm going to call big T, that we're trying to find. So I know that when theta equals 10, we'll just say that T equals big T. And we just substitute this into this equation here. And so therefore, we're going to have 10 equals 13 e to the power minus 0 0.008, then big T, and then you've got plus 3. Now, if I subtract 3 from both sides, that's going to give me 7 equals this term here and I divide by 13, I'm therefore going to have 7 over 13 equals e to the power minus 0.008t. And if I take natural logs to both sides, I'm going to have, well, we'll put this side first, I'm going to have minus 0.008t equals the natural log of 7 over 13. And to get t, all I've got to do is to divide both sides by negative 0 0.008. So t would equal minus 1 divided by 
0.008 and that's multiplied by the natural log of 7 over 13. And if you work this out, what you should find you get is 77.37 and so on. And we've got to give this to the nearest minute. So what it's going to be is 77 minutes then to the nearest minute. I haven't got room to write to the nearest minute in here, but hopefully you get the idea. All right.